Ignition sequence starts. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. 60 years ago, the first human flights to space changed our perspective forever. Looking back and seeing that our Earth was just a pale blue dot in a vast ocean of darkness, I do think it's a perspective that I wish more people had the opportunity to see. When you have an image of the Earth and you realize every single thing you've known, studied, heard, read, met, learned about is contained in that single image, it changes your worldview. It's the nature of human species. We're an exploratory creature since the Stone Age when we you know, sort of walked out of the cave and wondered what's over the next valley. We've always been explorers and we still always will be explorers. We're never going to be content to just sit on Earth. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Now we're on the brink of another giant leap for mankind. Essentially, our future as a humanity is inextricably tied to the way that we can continue to utilise space. I think what we'll see now in the new path to return to the moon is again that new technology, new services, new engineering that we really can't predict when we set out to try and build it, but really will make our lives unrecognisable. of entrepreneurs is looking to the stars. We're looking to have a multi-billion dollar valuation in the company. My vision of space is I think, you know, sooner or later there'll be, you know, millions of people living off the planet. There'll be, you know, cities on the moon, cities on Mars, and it'll just become a major part of the ecosystem. Everything is going to be space. In the 21st century, science fiction is becoming science fact faster than ever before. We're now on the cusp of a new industrial revolution that will change the way we live, the way we communicate, how we travel and how we work. Available now on Video On Demand.